Every forest has a canopy. Its uppermost layer, the tops of the trees. But none can match the complexity of a tropical jungle. Its vast expanse creates a life of its own up there between 25 and 60 meters above the ground. A life about which man knows little. It is, in fact, the least studied habitat on Earth, and it's fast disappearing, causing grave concern to the world's biologists. Among them, a man who walks across those treetops, Rolex laureate Donald Perry from the United States. We are rapidly approaching the greatest wave of extinction since the late Cretaceous, 60 or more million years ago, when a large number of plants disappeared from the face of the earth. Not only plants, but dinosaurs and the like. The forests back then were composed of such things as gymnosperms and tree ferns, such as we have here. Right now, tropical rainforests are undergoing a similar phase and due to deforestation worldwide, we expect that by the year 2000, most forests will be gone. And if they do, it's estimated that up to 50% of all species of life will vanish with them, mostly from the canopy. The canopy contains the most complex of communities of life on Earth in terms of the numbers of species of organisms that can be found there. And it has the greatest number of plants and a lot of animals, especially insects. Between 10 and 30 million species of insect are still to be discovered in the canopy. And that is as much as 10 times greater than previous estimates for the number of species of insects on the whole Earth. These are virtually unstudied. And it's my project to develop the system which will make these communities for the first time very accessible to scientific research and exploration. Until recently, working at heights of up to 60 meters in treetops too fragile to be climbed has not surprisingly deterred most researchers. But Perry, who spent most of his student days here at UCLA in California, has developed a unique solution. We're going up to the first limb. That represents about one quarter of the forest volume. So the canopy or the treetops extend on up to probably anywhere from 100 feet to 150 feet further. And in this realm, in the tropical forest, it's a region above the ground where most species of animals are found. This rope and harness and ascender method of climbing trees was the first method that I devised. And then the next method I devised was a web of rope that stretched over tropical treetops. That gave me access to one acre of rainforest. Perry's used this system, which provides three-dimensional mobility within the canopy, in Costa Rica. Remember, here he's over 30 meters above the ground. Using the web is actually quite simple, if you can overlook the fear involved. Sometimes the web shakes, or you'll feel a vibration, which naturally you might assume a limb might be breaking. So if you can overcome what the web is saying, it's relatively easy to use. On several occasions, I have come close to touching a poisonous organism. Once it was a eyelash viper, and I put my hand a half inch from its head. Another time, it was a five-inch long scorpion. I just pried up some bark, and it jumped out onto my glove. On other occasions, less poisonous organisms, like ants, are very, very common in the canopy. Despite the existing problems of canopy research, there has been progress in many areas. One, a possible new source of medicine. 25% of all drugs have derivatives from uh, higher plants. 
and higher plants are most numerous in the tropical rainforest canopy. Though we right now have few drugs that are derived from those canopy plants, the potential is vast. The canopy has a very exciting potential for undiscovered food resources. And a number of the plants which I have found in the treetops can be eaten. One of them is uh, peas, which are much tastier than your tabletop variety peas. Another is like a large pine nut. Uh, another is a nut related to the Brazil nut. The list of the possible foods is quite long. The problem with the present system is that most people would find it very scary to use and also physically exerting. So I want to make a system which is effortless and which will lift a person automatically and carry them to any site over the 20 acres of forest. Each rainforest has its own collection of organisms. Even a small area of rainforest has its own collection of organisms. So as it's removed, certain organisms will go extinct. We're not talking about trying to save just one type of animal or one endangered species. We're discussing saving a whole intertwined ecosystem of organisms that are independently related to each other. So it's very important that we establish a research facility which will help ensure the survival of a large area of forest, and that's what this one will do. With his Rolex award, Perry's system, which will allow many scientists to investigate the jungle rooftops, will become reality. As a result, the canopy will yield more of its secrets. And with that knowledge, perhaps many of the world's tropical forests will be saved before it's too late.